top of the mountain and got seriously dumb from lack of oxygen. Stop typing. That's what I what I'm doing actually. Welcome, Bob. <laughs> oh, excellent. Um, Robert Duff, known as Bob to his many friends, bought his first telescope at the age of 14 using money he earned working part-time delivering meat on his bicycle for the neighborhood butcher. The telescope tripod was wobbly at best, but he persisted and was able to view the moon, Jupiter, and Saturn. The telescope had an IP solar filter, which he used to observe sunspots. His father warned that this method of viewing the sun might be unsafe, as the filter became extremely hot after a few minutes of use. This interest in solar observing continues to the, today with notably better equipment. Bob regrettably sold that telescope when he went to university, as he had no place to store it. Late in 1987, Bob began attending meetings in the London Centre of the RASC, a time when meetings were held on the University of Western Ontario campus. He joined the Centre in September 1988 and has been an active member ever since. Bob is passionate about books and has read almost every astronomy book available to him. He serves as the Centre Librarian, storing the Centre collection in his apartment and bringing a small selection of choice readings to each meeting to loan out to Centre members. Bob also maintains a strong RASC relationship with the London Public Library system. Bob has served as Public and Educational Outreach Coordinator since 2006 and is the Centre's point person for Western's Hume Cronin Observatory open houses during the summer and Western's Exploring the Stars public education events during the fall and winter. Bob makes it a point to attend every event whenever possible, earning the recognition of being the hardcore volunteer of the Centre, often attending three or more events in a week. He also organizes star parties for scout and guide groups, primary and secondary schools and other community groups. At any public event, Bob can be counted upon to recall distance, size, and countless other details on any particular planet, star, nebula, or galaxy. Bob also takes some affectionate ribbing for being able to quickly calculate the power of any particular telescope eyepiece combination to first decimal place accuracy. Bob was instrumental in organizing the many Mars parties held in 2003 and received notable recognition from London Centre for his efforts. Bob was named RASC London Centre Member of the Year for 2006 in recognition of his continuing service to the Centre and his advancement of the astronomical sciences. Bob is now deeply committed to London's efforts for IYA 2009. For these services and for his unwavering support of London Centre, we recommend Bob Duff for the RASC Service Award. Thank you for your service. And now I don't mind saying informally that uh, this is, uh, Bob wasn't able to attend the General Assembly out in Saskatchewan, but I was. And so I, I received the, uh, the award uh, at the General Assembly. I was hoping to have a picture of that uh, here, but of course I was in the middle of it. I couldn't take a picture. And I didn't get an answer back from anybody who had a picture. I'll show it next month or we'll put it in the newsletter. And so uh, the, the, the award went straight from the national president's hand to mine and now uh, to Bob's. And uh, so we congratulate Bob on, on this recognition. I just want to say that I, I very much appreciate receiving the award and I'm glad to be here. I 